Hey guys, so I just wanted to break down the details on one of our vehicles. It's a 2023 Hyundai Venue. We actually bought it as like one of the first like dedicated cars for renting out on Turo. We got it for a pretty decent price. MSRP was $22,750 and we actually got a manufacturer rebate and as well as a dealer discount off of the vehicle for $750. We actually have been getting some questions about the type of vehicles that we have on the platform as well as the costs associated with buying them and then also like the breakdown for like profits. So we bought the car with an MSRP of $22,750. We actually got a dealer discount and on top of that a manufacturer rebate. Uh, manufacturer rebate was $750 and then the dealer discount was $1,500 so $2,250 off the MSRP. Um, so we went ahead and purchased it, you know, under the MSRP value. Right now, the only really big expenses with the vehicle are the monthly payment, which is 374. On top of that is our insurance for $90 a month. Uh, we don't really have any like maintenance or like repairs or anything. It's a brand new 2023 car. And the first like few oil changes, stuff like that are already covered by the dealership. And then just to go into a little breakdown on what it's actually bringing in every single month. In December, it brought in $777. January was $731. February was $799. March was $1,096. April was $775 on Turo, but then $140 on private. And then May, we actually had a really big jump up. We had 1,387 total off just Turo. So it's actually been increasing steadily every single month and it's been renting out pretty much nonstop even as we're increasing prices month over month. So that brings our total to $5,705 over the course of the first six months, which is pretty crazy considering we started in December, January, you know, the slow season kind of building up into the summer months. So we're just kind of hitting full steam now and it's been doing really good. We've had a lot of pay down off of the payment and then also it's just been booked out consistently. So we haven't really had any gaps and it's continuing to increase in price and also increase in its bookings. So that's pretty much a wrap for the 2023 Hyundai venue. If you have any questions or comments about like how we purchased the vehicle, how we secured financing, how we got those discounts, from the manufacturer then also from the dealer and then also kind of our strategy for buying some new cars and then as we kind of build those up we're currently looking to buy in more cash cars into the fleet and then kind of scale up that route so if you have any questions comments concerns let us know in the comments i'll try to get back to you as soon as possible